Now, every year, hundreds of thousands of Americans go in for knee replacement surgery. Until now, doctors have had to rely on their expertise, sort of medical guesswork, to make sure that they get the joint in just right. Now, there's a new sensor that can help them make sure everything is lined up properly, and that could make recovery a whole lot faster. Professor Peter Walker is a research professor at the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at New York University's Langone Medical Center. I am of uh, particularly interested in this in this story because I've had what three ACL replacements. I'm missing some cartilage. I'm probably going to be a candidate for knee replacement one of these days. How does this work? This is obviously the the model of the human knee, but when this joint needs to go, you've got a new way to 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 get it in more accurately. That is correct. <clears throat> At the moment, the surgeon relies on uh, skill, experience, and obviously in a lot of instrumentation to shape the bones so that they will accept the components very accurately. But one of the more difficult parts of the surgery is getting the knee to move very, very smoothly after the components are placed. It's a very, very difficult job. Because every patient is different. Every patient is different. and. You're dealing with structures which have been arthritic, the joint surfaces have been arthritic. You have to put the components in in very perfect alignment to restore what the knee was like when the knee was healthy. So, uh, and, and if you don't get that just right, what happens? Well, one of the things that can happen is, for example, a restricted range of motion. I mean, everybody likes to get at least 120 degrees if possible, even sitting on this chair. We're using 120 degrees. <clears throat> sometimes the motion can be restricted sometimes it can be restricted in extension you can't quite extend the knee for example they are just some of the examples and so this little bit of microelectronics comes in this is this is what the surgeons use and there are sensors in this tell us how it works yeah this this has microelectronics built into it what these are really are little force plates if you can imagine a three-legged stool and they're built into here. Each of the legs has got force sensors. And what happens is, when the surgeon is doing the procedure at surgery, he flexes and extends, moves the knee sideways like this. Mm -hmm. And then the force sensors tell him on the computer screen, him or her, on the computer screen, what the forces are in the knee as he flexes and extends it. The idea is to get the forces exactly equal on both sides of the knee, so the knee is perfectly balanced. In other words, it will be a balanced knee, so when you use it later on in function, it will move very smoothly and be very stable. And it's a, it's a better outcome for, for, the, for the patient, obviously. We believe that. The, the, the Hospital for Joint Diseases, we're doing a, a lot of follow-up research now, and uh, they are some of the things that we'll be focusing on, how much better can we get the function of the patient? Already the function is very, very yeah. good with total knees, as you probably know. That's the good news. <laughs> the uh, even better news is we think we could make the function even better with, with a device like this. Well, I hope I'm not on your operating table soon, but that's good <laughs> to know if it, uh, if it comes to that for me. Professor Peter Walker, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you.